So I have like a huge update type thing. What's the date today? The 8th. The 8th. So today is July 8th, if you guys are curious, and I will be eating Subway. So don't get mad at me. Um, I did try to choose a healthier option, um, which I normally do try to do. I got light mayonnaise, which is only like 35 calories, onion, olive, and literally just turkey, and that's all that's on here. And I have a diet soda. So I woke up intentionally. I was gonna make cauliflower fried rice. I literally was laying in bed as soon as I woke up and I was like, that's what I'm gonna do, that sounds so good. Like I already had all the ingredients planned out in my head. I got up and I went to go into the kitchen. It's a wreck. So I'm gonna explain why. Um, a lot of things have been happening, as you guys know, like I'm getting a hysterectomy soon and I'm talking soon. It's in less than a week. So um, I'm terrified and before that, you're supposed to be calm and serene and I'm not even eating. I'm probably not going to, let's be honest, because I just feel like I need to talk. Um, before surgery, you're supposed to be like as calm as you can and getting, you know, the little odds and ends ready before surgery and just being positive and not stressed. I am the very opposite of that right now. Um, so a little flashback. It was probably two and a half months ago, Becky and I decided, let's move out. Let's create a life for us, because we're almost 30, you know? So we wanted to try something different. And we wanted to be closer to her family. So we went and we found this house. And I was hinting at it um, in videos. I was talking about how like something really good could be happening soon in this whole thing. And during that time, like, okay, so we went and saw the house, we loved it obsessed you guys it was gorgeous okay and during that time with the whole looking for a house you know we broke the news to eric and ricky that we were gonna move out and stuff like that during that whole commotion is when i found out i had cancer so it was like this big okay i have cancer what's gonna happen next my mom's gonna come and visit but we just looked at a house are we gonna be getting it i already put the application in it was like this whole craziness that was happening at once we ended up not getting approved for the house because we were not the first person to put in an application. They did first serve, first come, first serve or whatever. And all within the time when we didn't get the house, my mom was here, you know, slowly found out that I'm gonna get a hysterectomy. So I told Becky, this is too dramatic. This is too much drama at once. So let's wait to move until after my surgery. So that was something, that I was holding on to was, you know what? Let's just let myself deal with this cancer, do the surgery, and then worry about moving because I kind of wanted to heal in the space that I've been used to and what I'm, you know, accustomed to. Eric and Ricky decided we're gonna move too, actually, which makes sense because they don't want to be in this huge house. They want to be closer to work. It's like all of us were kind of over this location. And um, so then they decided, okay, so we're gonna move after I decided I'm gonna wait to move. So then I was like, I don't wanna be left with this house by myself. Like me and Becky don't want this house to ourselves. Like we don't. I don't really like this house. I never really have, like everyone knows that. It's not really like my cup of tea. So that put us in another situation of, okay, let's start looking for place a little bit of time. All of us, we all thought that. We we're gonna have a couple of months to try to find somewhere that allows pets and is suitable for us and the location we want, et cetera, et cetera. So, and I think the funniest part is, we were all joking about it because we're not moving together. So we were like joking because we we're all looking in the same location. We were pretty much me and Becky and then Eric and Ricky, we were like competing for the same spot because we like the same, type of environment, we wanted a house in the same location, we wanted, you know, a house with pet, four pets, and it was like this whole thing, it was like a funny ongoing joke. So, then, to top it all off, we no longer had a few months or a couple months to find a place. Our landlord finds out that we're all planning on moving because obviously you tell them that. Becky and I told him, it was about two, two and a half months ago, we said, we're looking, we're gonna be moving. Eric and Ricky told them, that they're gonna be moving as well. So our landlord was on top of it, like lickety split, and he said, 
Well, I already have someone who wants to run the house, so you have to be out in a month. And my anxiety went like this, okay? So, two days ago, I said, I'm going to message every single place I could find and tell them I'm ready to move in like within a few days. And I wanna move in for surgery. And a, a big part of me was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to find a place that quick. There's no way we're gonna be able to pack that quick. There's no way all of this is gonna happen that quick because to find a place, to do the application, to be approved, to go through the process, to pack all the oh. to get a U-Haul, to drive it, to unpack, like all that stuff before my surgery. First of all, I'm putting a lot of stress on my body. But long story short, somehow, some way, things went in mine and Becky's fair moving in a couple of days. Yesterday we spent all day packing. Today we're going to be spending all day packing. We just did a little packing. Now we're taking our little food break. And that's why I couldn't cook because the kitchen is an absolute wreck. We are all packing. Eric, Ricky, me, Becky, and it is, I kind of got emotional last night and I cried a little bit because this has been our home. You guys have seen, we've had our Christmases here together, all of us. We've had our Thanksgivings here together, all of us. Um, there's, I'm so crying, I don't wanna cry. We're not doing it. There's just a lot of freaking memories up in this house and it's just kind of crazy that like, it's no longer gonna be, you know, home. My mom behind the camera. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. She's over there chomping on her food. <laughs> it's just weird. And I also feel bad for my animals. I, I say this every time I move because I've been doing YouTube for so long that I've moved several times since doing it. And I say this every time. This is Rarity Wasabi and Twinkie's home. And they have no idea what's happening. Okay, they see all these boxes and crazy mayhem, but it's like, are they processing? like what's really happening. And then I just feel so bad because it's like, this is what they're used to. They love this. This is their home. They have their spots where they lay, the spots where they like to jump and be annoying, the spots where they eat, the spots where they play, you know? This is their home. And it's now it's like, I'm taking them from that. And something about that really rubs me wrong. I hate it so much because it's, <sighs> I just hope that they, can create a home where we're moving. And I said that last time too. I was terrified they weren't gonna like it here and they didn't at first. Twinkie hated it, Rary hated it, Wasabi hated it. They were all nervous wrecks. That happens every single time we move. Um, I have moved with my animals four times and always in the beginning, it is rough. They don't like it. They don't like the drive there. They don't like sniffing around at a new place. It's always uneasy, but then eventually, somehow, someway, it all ends up working out. So that is literally what's happening before my surgery when I should be like resting and worrying about stupid shit. Like, what scented lotion do I want to bring to the hospital? Like, instead I'm worried about, okay, how much is this U-Haul gonna cost? And um, when are we gonna be able to go buy furniture because we have none? Like, I am, I don't think I've ever been in my life this stressed and I feel it physically like in my chest last night before I was going to sleep I was having really bad heart palpitations and I noticed it's because I was thinking negative thoughts so I literally you can ask Becky she's over there she's probably not gonna answer though I started singing positivity like quotes remember babe yeah. it was ridiculous I was trying to like do like the whole positive affirmation thing oh, and like you're also talking in your sleep. I was talking in my sleep what was I saying? I never talk in my sleep. I must be stressed to the max. That's scary. Oh my God. See, you didn't know what I was saying or anything? What? It was all jumbled. See? I told you guys. I, it's just like, the biggest reason why I wanted to move before my surgery once finding out we only have a month to stay here is because 
during that month, I'm gonna be recovering. I don't know how this whole surgery situation is gonna happen for me. I don't know how I'm gonna heal. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know the pain. I don't know nothing, like at all. I don't, like everything is the unknown. And I have so much stress regarding the surgery. Like, am I even gonna make it? I know it's such a bad, disgusting thought, but obviously it's there. And it's something I worry about. And I, I just want to know today when I wake up from surgery, I'm going to freaking ball my eyes out because I'm going to be so grateful to be alive. You know, it's just like those situations where it's like, you don't realize how much you love life until you might lose it, you know? But anyway, the reason why I want to move before surgery is because it makes no sense to pack and move while I'm recovering when they told me I can't even lift something this size, like at all. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> like, I can't even lift something this size for weeks. So being able to, I'm not gonna have Becky do everything. I'm sorry, that's not happening. I said that's not happening. So that's why I was like, we need to move before. So we are. And uh, <sighs> this house looks crazy. You guys, I'm sure you guys are used to the walls. Look at, there's like nothing on the walls. Only, this is my mother. <laughs> There's like nothing in the walls. That's yucky. Um, there's boxes everywhere. Let me show you. Just to give you guys a little glimpse, I'm just gonna show you the den. Um, this is where we're putting everything that um, we're taking with us. It's already packed. Whoops. All of this so far. Um, we still have a lot to do. We really, really do. And. I'm stressed. <laughs> this is not the type of stress I need before surgery, but I'm trying my hardest to to look at the the positives of it. You know, me and Becky are moving into somewhere that I consider nice. We get to finally like create a life together. So I was really planning on eating. Good. She doesn't like mine because she doesn't like mayonnaise. I have like mayonnaise. She don't like lunch meat. I have lunch meat. She don't like olives. I have olives. And she don't like onions. I have onions. She gets like real chicken on hers. Chicken teriyaki. Anyways. I just have to show that crazy update you guys. Please. I know some of you hate me and put bad juju's, but the ones who care. Good to do. I'm talking prayers, thoughts. If you're a witch, a good witch, do some like good voodoo. Um, I just need all of the goodness. We all do. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this and then we have to continue packing because it is crunch time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.